The world is looking for greener options in terms of what to power our cars with. There are many options out there, all with their own issues. While Toyota aims to solve one of hydrogen's biggest problems with this new invention. What you see, one of hydrogen's biggest problems as a clean energy source is infrastructure, as it is very expensive to move around and store an extremely explosive gas. While Toyota and their subordinate Woven Planet believe that they might have came up with a solution for this problem with their new portable hydrogen cartridge. The idea is that you would fill up these cartridges with hydrogen at the fuel plant, then transport the hydrogen in the capsules to the location and after the shipment the cartridges will be returned. The cartridges are cylinders, 400mm long and 180mm in diameter, with a target weight of about 5kg when full. Now each one of these have a little grab handle on top and they're designed to be slotted and twist locked into place whenever they are used. Toyota calls them portable, affordable and convenient energy that makes it possible to bring hydrogen to where people live, work and play without the use of pipes. And all of these aren't just for the automotive industry. Yes, it could be used to transport hydrogen for use in our cars, but Toyota also sees these cartridges slotted into the walls of our homes that aren't connected to the power grid to provide electricity for the whole house through a fuel cell. They could be used to power heaters or provide electricity in remote places. They could also be treated as large backup power banks for device charging, which is something we would love here in South Africa with load shedding hitting new highs. A backup electricity source would be great. And for all my viewers from other countries that don't know what load shedding is, load shedding is basically every day there's a time where our power is cut to relieve strain on the grid. At the moment it's so bad that we can have up to 6 hours a day without any power. Now as you can imagine this does put a lot of strain on our economy and work. So if we could make a hydrogen viable second option that is green and not crazy expensive we would all be really happy. Now the other said one hydrogen cottage is assumed to generate enough electricity to operate a typical household microwave for approximately 3 to 4 hours. Not sure why you would want to run your microwave for 4 hours, but hey, now we know. I know at the moment hydrogen has more problems than just storage. For instance, most of the hydrogen production at the current time is produced using fossil fuels. But with so many companies working on green hydrogen production, it's just a matter of time before that issue is also resolved. In fact, I made an entire video on an electrolyzer Heisata made which is super efficient at the process of electrolysis. In fact, their new electrolyzer is 95% efficient at splitting the molecules, which means that there are almost no wasted potential energy. If you want to see more on that tech, I have a full video on it, and I will leave a link to it down below and a pop-up at the top of the screen. But now before I end of this video, let me tell you how I see hydrogen production in the future. I see a hydrogen plant using electrolyzers like the ones I start to make, which are super efficient. Then I see these super efficient electrolyzers being powered by solar or maybe even nuclear energy. And before you go on and say bad things about nuclear energy, do some proper research on thorium nuclear energy production, it's safe and doesn't produce any bad emissions. With all this in mind, I don't really see a fully electric future. If we invest our money smart, a hydrogen future is more than possible. But let me know what you think down below. Do you agree or disagree? I welcome counterpoints. It gives me things to research. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on the future of motoring and just like motoring content in general. Like, I really like cars. So if you like cars, you'll like my channel. Yeah, so I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?